what you said you were doing. Your interior design. Interior design. That's interesting. Gary, we don't have a table, so with your hands, just give the deck a cut, make it a full cut, and, and screw up the deck, okay? Hold the deck face down, cut the cards top to bottom, and like that. Come over and stand inside the screen here, Gary. Gary, give the deck another cut. Tell me when you've done something. Carson always had to know what was going to take place. When he moved to L from New York to LA, they'd be flying me out there for the show. One time, the car drives me to the studio and I walk in, and Fred Corbett was there, the producer, and one of the other people, they said, you know, we want to tell you, Johnny had this early meeting, and so he already discusses all the, what's going to happen on the show. They said, yeah, we want you to know, Chris, can we told you what you're going to take to do with it? I said, yeah. They said, he said, no way. I wish I had a copy of one of two things in my mind. The night I did this with him, when it was all over, he said, What are you saying? He just stood there and his jaw did not move for six, seven seconds. He went to a break. He didn't couldn't quite react. Now, give the deck another cut. Just give it a regular straight cut, okay? And, and, and you finish, you square up the cards. Now, hold the deck behind you. You watch. With the deck behind you, sir, give it one more cut, but keep the deck behind it. Be careful. Tell me when you've cut the cards, keep it in the air. Have you done so yet, sir? Put the deck, got the deck behind you? Yes, I did. So you can't see and no one else can see. Take the top card off the deck. Don't look at it. Put it either in your right or your left pocket. It could be a pants pocket or jacket. Folks, you shouldn't see it, so have you put it all the way in? Make sure it's all the way in. You saw him, but he did put it in, folks. Yeah. Keep the deck behind. Keep the deck behind. Now with the deck behind you, take whatever card is on top. Now, don't look at it. Put it in the pocket on the on the on the other side. By that I mean opposite the pocket the first card is in. And you're seeing what he does. And I don't want to turn around until as you, as you put it in, all the way in, sir. All the way in. But we'll take the rest of the deck and it. And one thing I'm, I I know you'll tell me honestly, you didn't glance down and try to uh, in any way, shape, or form. Here's what I'm going to do, folks. I'm trying to imagine the possibilities of taking a step out. I'm going to name two cards. I don't. I haven't even thought about what I'm going to call out now. But, sir, after I name the cards, I want you to decide in which pockets the cards I name go. The pockets you name are going to be the pockets the cards are in. Then I will tell you, you want to change your mind. And I said this to Carson as well. If you change your mind, you'll still be correct. <laughs> you believe that, folks? I'll tell you another story. Give me a moment. Two cards I choose to name. Give me a moment, folks. Are the two cards that are the Four of clubs and the ten of spades. Of those two cards, sir, that I need, the ten of spades, four of clubs, which you put to your left pocket, which you put to your right pocket? Four. Okay. You going to change your mind once? No. All right. You don't, you don't want to use that. Okay, don't reach in. So the four of clubs in the left pocket, the ten of the right pocket. So I'm turning around now. Reaching your left pocket, what's the card in your left pocket? Let's see what it is. What is it? Four clubs, exactly as you can. Ten of spades in your right pocket, sir. What card is in your right pocket? That's it. Ten of spades. Sir. Oh, that's wrong. Thank you. During the commercial, and after the show, come back here.